Oh ho ho! Oh, we're all doing success! Yes. Hello, it's me again! I worried about Tippy being gone so long, but clearly magical events have transpired. It has been a while. Thanks to all of you, this town, and indeed all towns, are now safe. Yes. Please accept my thanks. Now, tell me of Tippy. Have you heard anything about her at all? I see her. Yes. Nor have I. It seems no one has seen Tippy at all. Sadness. But somehow, I can't shake the feeling that she is alive. Yes, alive! Alive! And living somewhere happily, I am sure. Oh ho! A terror almost seemed to turn sad there for a moment, didn't it? Yes! Quite. Well, you've been gone so long, there must be many people you still wish to see, even though not really. Please, take your time, and we'll be at home. Please come by if you feel the urge. Mm, yes. Goodbye, my friends. I don't know why my voice radically changed there, but I'm here. Oh. Well, it certainly has been an awfully long time since we've seen this little screen, hasn't it? Yes. Yes, it has. And it was hello, everybody. Welcome back for more Let's Play Super Pepper Mario. I'm Hunter, the one always there for Hunter Potter. And in the last part, we beat the game, essentially. And that was like a year ago, but whatever. And in this part, we are going to continue playing the game. Yeah. Um, couple things for the people who are watching this in the playlist. One, where's Let's Play in the title? Removed it because there's space issues and it cluttered up to... It cluttered up and... It, it, it was rather cluttered, it just... It, it, it saves space, that's that's basically it. Um, two, was that little title called pop-up thingy at the beginning of the videos? Once again, got rid of it. Lazy to put it in. And I didn't know how to recreate it because I got rid of the Photoshop file for that a year ago. Yeah. Three. Where is my intro? That animated one done by Sam. I can't remember his face. Um. Well, if you remember my introduction before, like in part 84, I think it was, was... The one who needs an introduction seemed rather ironic and stupid and all kinds of retarded that... Well... Yeah, it, it, it's kind of redundant to have an intro and that, Well, okay, basically stuff happened, the years passed, things have changed, all that kind of jazz. Anyways, here is, a uh, You. I can't remember your name, so we're just gonna talk to you and hopefully you'll tell us our name again because I can't remember your name at all. Hi. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so, um, long time no see, huh? Guess I owe you one. Lumiere was reunited with Lady Timpani, and the world wasn't destroyed after all. I guess I should be happy. I mean, I am, but, um, I just don't think my heart has fully accepted the fact that he isn't here anymore. Now I understand what it was like when Lumiere turned into Count Black. If I have to live on with this feeling always burning inside me, yeah, then maybe there w never was any point to that other world. I wonder if this is how I'll spend the remainder of my days. Yeah, well maybe I'll learn to smile again and look forward to the future. If I can't, then I suppose I can never have matched Lady Tempani anyway. Well, that's just great, Mr. Lady. I think your name was Nastasha or something around those letters. Um, you're probably wondering why I have 999 coins. Well, um, we are actually going to go to Chapter 3-4, The Bentlands. Unless I'm pretty sure it's Chapter 3-4. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we are going to see Francis. You'll see why in a moment. So, we are going to go there right now, through a clever jump cut. Woo! See, I told you that was a clever jump cut. Did you like it? I hope you did. Because if not, I was going to have to hurt you. And I don't think we didn't want to have to hurt anybody. Also, you might have noticed that my health is at 90. Why is that not 90, you might ask? Well... <laughs> I did a little bit of grinding. And by that I mean a lot. 
Yeah, I kinda grinded to level 32 for reasons you will see in the following parts, but for now, um, I best explain why, well, where I went to grind. Um, I think it was like level 19 when the last part ended, and I'm on 32. That's like double, practically. So, um, basically what I did is just breeze through chapter 8 about umpteen million times, because that was the highest level place I could go without going to the flip side or flop side pits of on trials. Because that is what we have to do, and I think level 32 is the best level, because I'm planning to do flip side, then flop side, then the duel of 100, which is the Samurai Tournament, essentially. So, yeah, there's that. You'll see why I'm doing the flop side pit before the duel of 100, even though the duel of 100 is actually easier than the flop side pit of 100 trials. Anyways, let's just stop talking and go into the goddamn pit, 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 castle. We're going to Francis' castle. And hello, Mr. Kitty Butler. Hi, Mr. Kitty Butler. Master, have a sweet turn home. Meow made rejoices. He was gone. Apparently so. Nobody, whatever. And, um, excuse me if my voices are a little bit off. Particularly because it's a new mic I'm working on, different from the one from before. And please tell me I do not have to go. Okay, good. Stop what? Stop there! Oh, wait, that was the door. Wait a minute, what? Master Francis and. Totally hot babes only. All other get the kitty lasers. The kitty lasers. What? Oh my god! Jesus! Jesus! Get me out of here! Kitty lasers not good for health! Ah! Okay. That was creepy. Do not ever do that again! <laughs> okay. I guess there's something shown off that I didn't show off before, but um. I just remember, you can only enter Francis' room as Princess Peach because Francis is like totally hot babes, blah blah blah. Um, completely forgot about that. And, uh, we could hit that block there and end the chapter, but if we talk to Francis here... Hello, Francis, haven't seen you in God knows how long. When I see something super real, I must own it. But trying to hold a digital butterfly against her will landed me in the hospital. So, I'm, um, I think I'm done with that stuff. This time, I harnessed my inner nerd to create something beyond high technical. Dying to see it, aren't you? Behold! And it's a. My masterpiece! A one to one scale replica, uh, rep, rep, uh, replica of Tippy with real fluttering action! I'd like to call her Tiptron! Tiptron? Hey, that's not my name! I'm Tippy! D did you hear that? She can perfectly replicate Tippy's voice, even though not really! Because that voice is completely different from the voice I gave Tippy before! Yeah! Tiptron can even flutter! She's pretty much the pinnacle of high technicality! Tiptron earned me the coveted Elite Nyr status on the DigiButter.Nyr forums! Um, okay, good for you. Oh! Would you by any chance be interested in buying her? That sounds kind of weird. Okay. I'm saving for Starship X not issue one, so I'll sell her for just nine hundred and ninety-nine coins. This is a sweet deal on a super rare collectible. What do you say? Yeah. You essentially have to get the maximum amount of coins you can hold at one time in order to get Tiptron. Now, I'm just gonna say this right now. Tiptron is basically Tippy. Exactly the same as Tippy. I know he said that, but I'm just confirming you knew that it's actually the truth. It's it's just Tippy. You don't necessarily need Tippy, but if you really, really want, you can get it. I'm just getting it for the sake of showing it off and because I might need it for the. Uh, nice. I'm, I'm saying it because it's technically a robot and robots don't have genders. Um, I need it for the flip side pit of 100 trials because the final boss there needs to be detailed. So, I am buying it! And don't worry, I have extra money in the bank because I bought a gold bar. Or two. 
and that technically counts for like 275 coins so it's basically preserved money uh yeah no i knew you couldn't resist something this high technical you are now the owner of the only Tiptron in the entire universe! Yay! Go me! Yay! Um, can you give it to me, please? Please? Please, I think. There we go. Tippy's robot replica, Tiptron, has joined your party! She looks and talks just like the real Tippy! Except the talking part is not really that true because I forgot the voice of Tippy. Well, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go, so yay, now we got Tiptron. Um, basically, what we can do now is just end the chapter. So, there are a couple more things I need to show off. One is back to the item shop in either Flip or Flop side to show you the items I've prepared myself for the pits of 100 trials, and as well, the pipe between the two pits, which can be built in Flop side. And I'll show those before starting the next part in the flip side pit of 100 trials. So, time for a fancy transition! End of chapter that you already made because this chapter was ages ago. End of his fancy teleportation transition. Of course, I want to save the mass. Woo! Alright, since my health in this particular part of the video it takes so long in explaining how much things cost and yada 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 I will explain it much more quickly in post-production so first item the shroom steak is made from buying a ultra shroom shake from not so in flop side which is this guy here for 300 coins after that you go back to flip side to give it a saffron who works with single ingredients and she'll bake you one or but whatever one <laughs> I can't remember the exact term cook you one there we go that's the word the shroom steak cures 70 HP and poison uh, the next item which is a life shroom you can buy from how is it in flip side the flip side shop for a hundred coins and I'm only taking one of those into the pits uh, the third item, which is an emergency ration, is got in from getting a shroom shake, 30 coins in Flipside store, and a fire burst, 20 coins in Flipside store. Mixing them together with Dillis in Flopside, the chef in Flopside, who works with two ingredients as opposed to just one. Now, while the emergency ration says that it only does 10 HP and cures poison in the pit of 100 trials, both flip and flop, they, it actually heals 50 instead of 10. So it's actually a rather useful item to bring into the dungeon. And that's how you get that. The fourth item I'm taking into the pit is the Dillis Deluxe. That is gotten by making a gorgeous steak and a shroom steak. Now, in order to make the gorgeous steak, you're going to have to get two power sticks, which be, can be gotten from Itty Bits in Flopside Basement 1. If you know what that is, just go to the basement one and flop side, turn into 3D, go into the pool of water, come out, by the map guide, there's a little shop. Shrink yourself down with Dottie, go inside, and they cost about 30 coins, I do believe, each. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's about 30 coins. Um, you have to get two. One to remain a power stick, the other to give to Saffron and make it into a hamburger by itself. After that, you combine the power steak and the hamburger together, and you get the gorgeous steak. Do that, and then combine the gorgeous steak with the shroom steak, and you have a Dillis Deluxe. That heals 90 HP and cures poison. And yeah, that's basically it. So what we're going to do is take out these gold bars. They say for around 300 coins, which is how much you want to actually buy them for, but yeah, it's strange. And then we're going to settle right back to this guy in order to get 275, which is a little small loss profit there because of stuff. And wow, that was a long explanation time talking stuff. Uh, Alright, so now we don't have anything else we want to unload. So we have enough coins, so what I am going to do is move my items around so I have all the stuff I need for the flip and flop side pits of 100 trials ready with me. Probably not the flip side pit, but still, nice to have on the way. Anyway, so I'm just going to do that and meet you in B1 of Flopside. Hopefully you guys know how to get there. If not, just... You'll figure it out, trust me. It's not that hard. 
Anyways, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, and we're here at Flopside Basement 1! Okay, so what you gotta do is, uh, see this guy right here, yeah, say hi to him, and then fly up into 3D. And I do believe that... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, now now we go down one more level to Flopside B... 2. And down here is the entrance to the Flopside Pit of 100 Trials, which we're not able to do yet, I think, until we beat the Flopside one. So, yeah. Uh, ah! The welcome mat of Welderberg is always lying at the ready. I forgot that I give this guy the Fargo accent, I can't remember that. Oh, whatever. I'll figure it out. You are coming here often, yeah? You are, you are not having the job making the money, yeah? But that is neither in the here nor in the there, yeah? I have inspected here, yeah. I am, I am thinking I can make pipe to Black Tower's base. Oh well, that that isn't the right one. Oh well, screw it. It's still something. You are covering for the coins, hundred coins of this construction, yeah. Are we having the deal? I guess we're having the deal, yeah. This is good thing, yeah. I am getting started. You are staying out of the way. Right, so basically, this means you take us to the top of the flopside tower. Just like I think we activated one similar near the flipside pit of 100 trials that takes us to the top of the flipside tower. So, I do believe that means that we are going to see if that intuition of mine is right. So let's go back to flipside and see if there's a pipe leaning to the flipside pit, which would make things, let's just say, a lot easier. I'm just going to take this pipe for shortcut reasons, and also for a cool transition. Woogity boogity 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 boogity. And yep. I actually checked, um, where you come out is actually right beside the item shop, so the one for flip side is probably going to be on the item shop for this side, too. So, we're just going to go back down to the basement place thing of jigger, as before. Also, if you're wondering where Itty Bitty Shop is on the flop side, just jump into the pool of water that's actually hidden in flop side this time, and you'll swim over to the map guy, and then he's there, and I just dropped my Wii Remote, that's fantastic. <laughs> Okay, so if my intuition is right, yep, there's a guy over here too. All right, let's see if he has the same rousing speech. Uh, uh ta -ta 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 -ta. yep, same thing. All right, just as I thought. And we have enough coins to buy it. Yay! And he's going to be staying out of the way, ya. Yeah. All right, so essentially what this is for <laughs> is conveniently to take you right back to the iron shop in case you need any last-minute preparations before going into the pits. Corresponding. It also makes it a lot easier to get here, so I probably should have installed these in the main LP before I took that year break from this. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers at the pit. Yep, it's open! Uh, let's see what the sign says, just to be sure that this is... Flipside pit of 100 trials. Danger. Do not enter! Flipside city hall. Well, screw you, game! Because next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario, we are going to be jumping into the flipside pit of 100 trials. Fast forward! And probably... Probably explaining stuff on the way there and stuff like that. So, um, I'm hoping this all recorded, otherwise, I'm gonna scream. So, next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario, we're gonna go into the flip side pit of 100 trials. So, until then, see you later. Goodbye, look off as my intro is going. Whoop! I mean, outro.